Okay, what do you do on a rainy day? This is what you do on a rainy day. You get a solar panel controller <laughs> and you hardwire 30 amp fuses into your main line coming from your solar panel. I got two of them so um, the directions of course go from the solar panel to your controller in the back here and then from there to your battery. So my battery is going to be going into my cube from Wagnon um, because the little alligator, um, not alligator, but I, they're called something else. They're, they're straight plugs, duck plugs or something like that that go into it. Those are not staying in the front of it. So what I am doing is stripping wire inside the house and going to get it all prepped and when I get a break in the weather of course we're in Michigan so it's like rainy sunny rainy sunny you know so yeah and then I will be taking off probably tomorrow because it's supposed to be nice for the next three four days so went picked up some supplies um, got to think marine market and Thunder Bay Winery and Austin Brothers Brewery just putting it out boom 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 and uh, Fitzpatrick's hardware you know for hooking me up some of the things Home Depot of course and uh, but yeah just throwing out some names there I will be putting like little links on my uh, page and stuff of everybody that has helped out with uh, hooking me up with the proper equipment and uh, so yeah going to seal them up and of course light them with a lighter so it'll shrink wrap them so everything is waterproof this one I got um, I don't know if you can see that there um, not not too expensive waterproof so I can put it right in the back of my truck and um, hopefully that will take care of losing the electricity from my solar panel and that's what's been happening it hasn't been a real good plug-in and I haven't been getting that juice to both batteries so hopefully by tying it all in with tight bolts right on the studs of the batteries and yeah I'm securing it all so uh, I'll probably do a little video on when it breaks, of course, the rain. Um, but I'm going to prep everything right now when I get out there. And I will do a little blipping video on how I hooked it all up and stuff like that. So hopefully this is informative. And uh, if you have any questions, drop me a note. Okay, give me a thumbs up. And um, subscribe. Touch the little bell for the bobblehead. <laughs> All right, guys, for updated videos and stuff. All right, guys, peace out. See ya. Well, hello, everybody. So here I am under my tent in the back of my truck um, <laughs> uh, the blue skies finally came out it's done raining we're in North Michigan and uh, I thought well today would be a really good day to run my solar battery controller from my solar panel which is located up in the luggage rack there and I got the wires running down along the um, my ladder rack into the back of my truck and stuff so <clears throat> like I've been um, kind of telling everybody um, I've got this uh, solar powered cube 1500 plus uh, in the back of my truck and I use it for powering my uh, my refrigerator and everything well um, <sighs> It's, it's, it's a great little generator. Um, 
but I also will, it's got wheels on and stuff, and I'll take it inside during the winter time and use it in the house and stuff. So the nice thing of it is also is that it, I've done a couple videos on it already, that it has the, um, um, the solar panels built right onto it also. I can easily pop it out because the way I built the back of my bed, I built uh, and cut uh, holders for it, so it just plops right down into it. Doesn't go anywhere, it's totally secured. And um, I've got an external battery also hooked up to it. It has one on the inside of it. So I'm gonna spin it around real quick. This is my solar generator. And uh, like I said, it's got the solar panels that just fold right out, and that's an extra 80 watts. I have 100 water up, up, upstairs there. I have an external battery. Um, but the banana clips, I had to duct tape them in to hold into the front to charge this and this. Well, I, am, I decided to go with a solar panel controller and I wired it all up last night. That's what you do when it's raining. <laughs> you work inside and try to trick everything out. <laughs> anyway, um, I might take those little banana plugs, cut them off, uh, run it to my exterior battery. Um, I've got it uh, wired already up and stuff like that. And uh, I ran two inline fuses to it, 30 ampers. One coming from the solar panel uh, into the controller and then from the controller into the battery. So I'm just going to hardwire it right up to the battery and I'll mount it. I'm going to build a bracket so it mounts in the back part of the bed here. I already have one so I'm going to build another one so I can just screw it right in there and keep it right on the side and stuff. I think you can see all that. So. Like I said, these, these solar panels, they just slide right out. Um, makes it real nice as an added solar panel. So, um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, well, uh, I'll uh, show some uh, pictures and another little bleeping video and uh, we'll go from there. All right, guys, if you like the, uh, the video, I hope it was helpful. Um, I did a lot of research on the solar panel controllers. Uh, you don't have to really go with an expensive one. You can stay with a little bit cheaper ones. I guess they work really well. I um, saw a couple guys on the videos do some actual testing between a real expensive one and a, a, a shorter one. Uh, I'm going to have to drop them a note and, and say, can I hook up a link from my video here on my YouTube channel to your YouTube channel and you guys can d decipher for yourself. You know, he was really impressed by, you know, the flexible solar panels and stuff like that. And it's worked great for me, you know, the solar, uh, the flexible solar panels and stuff. So we're going to see how this charger works. Um, yeah, and go from there. All right, guys. Uh, have a safe camping trip. If you like the videos, thumbs up. Hit the subscribe and touch the little bell, the little bobblehead. Bing! And you'll get uh, updates on my newer videos and stuff. All right, guys. Peace out. See ya. Okay. Just an add on to the first video. Um, I got her done. And she's working. Hey, that's a plus. <laughs> nah, I knew it would. <laughs> so... Uh, got her wired up. I'm going to spin it around here. So, uh, let's see here. Got her wired up to the uh, spare battery. And with the inline fuses, go around the back. I soft mounted it right here on the back of my tailgate for right this second. But as you can see, uh, she is charging. So, yeah. yeah, I'm excited. Now I'll get the full potential out of that solar panel, you know, charging these two batteries and stuff. So um, instead of just going with those, um, these little banana plugs, I know it's hard to see because there's so much duct tape on them and stuff, but, um, but yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited. So uh, it's finally working the way I wanted it to. Of course, I needed it last year, you know, when I was doing that 5,000 mile trip and uh, over 5,000 mile trip, but ah, uh, like I said, my list went from that long to about that long of getting things done. So, all right guys, uh, like I said, if you like the video, thumbs up, uh, subscribe, push the little bell, boing, boing, boing. All right, peace out.